base 7 place values. In our regular place values that we use, we use base 10. In the first column, we have ones, and on the other side of the decimal point, we have tenths, right? Over here we have tens, then we have hundreds, then we have thousands, then ten thousands, etc. The way we get these numbers up here is we keep multiplying by ten. As we go to the left, we keep multiplying by ten. One times ten is ten. Ten times ten is a hundred. A hundred times ten is a thousand, etc. And we just keep multiplying by ten going that way. Well, in base seven, we multiply by sevens. So, these would be the columns that we would have for base 7. We'd have our 1's column, our 7's column, our 49's column, and our 2,401's column. See? 1's, 7's, 49's, 343's, 2,401's, 16,000's, 807's. You multiply that by 7 and you could have the next column. Going this way, we divide by 7. So instead of in our base 10 system, there would be tenths here. We have only sevenths. The minute we got to eight sevenths, it would go to this column. See? So, check this out. In base 7, okay, if we wanted to say the number 50, you would have 149, zero sevens, and a 1. And that would give you our base 1050. See? If you wanted to say 345, two more than this, we'd have one of these, no 49s, no 7s, but we would have two ones. That would be 345. See? If we wanted to say 2,402, we would have a 2,401, no 343s, no 49s, no 7s, but we would have one, one. And that's how you would say 2,402 in base 7. See that? Very different than our base 10 system because it's based on 7. That's why it's called base 7. It's based on 7. Now, there are many other bases and I started with 10. I did 9, 8. Now this is 7. We're going to do base 6 next. So come along and watch what happens because we're eventually going to get down to base 2 and the binary system. See you next video.